guys, I'm really glad to see you all in today's video in which I will review novelty from Lancome that is called Musk Diamond. And this is a flanker of their La Nuit Trésor fragrance and the novelty looks like this. First of all, let's look at this beautiful design. I absolutely love this iridescent holographic trend that is going on. I've noticed that so many perfumes have uh, holographic bottles and I need to tell you that this diamond-shaped bottle looks so pretty and I love that it is pretty different from the rest of Trezor Flankers which have uh, black purple pinkish color and this one is so light and pretty and I remember when I first read about the announcement of uh, Musk Diamond on Fragrantica I got really excited because of the bottle and then when I saw it in the store I was magnetized to it and I was so satisfied with the bottle, it looks even prettier in the real life than on the picture, so I sprayed it on my skin without any expectations. And how much I was surprised by its scent! Right in that moment when I first smelled it, I knew I needed it in my collection, and here it is. Actually, I got a great deal on it. On Valentine's Day, me and my boyfriend visited Hano, and I discovered two great perfume shops there. They both had 25% off, and um, unfortunately, only 30ml bottle was in stock, but I got it anyway because it was really affordable. But I plan to get a bigger bottle because uh, I'm not sure if they are gonna discontinue it. It is not a limited edition, but I just want to have a backup bottle because its scent is so beautiful and the biggest compliment for me is that my boyfriend enjoys it and you know it is pretty hard to satisfy him with perfume so if he likes something I'm super super glad so anyway Musk Diamond is all about the musk and I find that when musk is done correctly it is absolutely irresistible and in here the opening is so bright that musk really stands out right in the beginning but it is pretty fresh and a bit fruity. Top notes are raspberry, musk and violet leaf and uh, the opening is fresh but it is overloaded with white musk which makes it very sensual but a bit playful because of the fruitiness. So in the middle we have the note of freesia, jasmine, rose and musk once again but the flowers are more on the background. It develops as a floral gourmand because in the base we have vanilla, patchouli, sandalwood, musk once again and almonds and I smell milky almonds in here and they really make the game because the combination of musk and almonds is very successful and ever since the launch of Lost Cherry by Tom Ford I have been obsessed with almonds but in here they are not as sweet as in Lost Cherry they are creamy and they make it a bit powdery but not dusty. It still stays fresh and very sophisticated and I find that this perfume has it all. It is very smoothly blended, it is creamy, it is floriental and very feminine and just elegant. So you can wear to so many different occasions like work or casual going out or even a romantic date and this perfume makes me feel so good and so beautiful because it is just a truly beautiful scent and I like that it stands out from all the previous um, Trezor flankers even though it still has that original DNA in it but it is not as sweet, it is not as sugary, it has just more going on, musk in here is just sexy and this is a chic perfume for ladies who want to smell very appealing especially to men. I find that men will really enjoy it on the woman because it is just like pleasant and attractive, sweetish, but it still has some mystery in it. And uh, the only issue that I wanted to tell you that I have with it, it is just tiny, but I need to mention it, it is actually the performance. It does not have the craziest projection, which I don't mind, but I want my perfume to have sillage, and its sillage is very subtle, but actually I identify myself with it because I'm also a quiet person. So maybe if you 
want your perfume to sit closer to the skin and be noticeable only to the closest person next to you this is a great option that might be suitable for you definitely check it out in the store i highly recommend it it has some lasting powder but nothing too crazy you might need to reapply it throughout the day and overall i'm very satisfied with it and looking forward to hear from your experience with musk diamond or any other trezor perfume and that completes this video i hope you enjoyed watching it if so please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and stay tuned, smell good and we'll see each other next one really soon.